Alright, what's going on guys? Today we're going to try to uh, hack WhatsApp web using JavaScript. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? So first of all, you need to go to your WhatsApp web, log in as usual, and then you need to inspect the element. Uh, so inspect the element of this text field. But make sure first, you're going to target which person you want to spam. So I just get this uh, my group. So you're going to inspect this thing. Then just leave it there. Now you already start to code. So for the JavaScript uh, program, you need to run the uh, prompt message to get the input. So first thing we are going to prompt the message input. Uh, we are going to put the um, what we call that the uh, the string or the instruction, yeah. And then we're going to declare the default value as a empty string. Uh, so the next thing is you're going to declare the second text box that enable user to input the how many time you want to loop the the text. So since the input going to be in the string, you're going to parse the integer and then start to prompt here. Uh, how many times? that and then we try to put default value value as a 10 next thing is you're going to create a event so window sorry window yep, dot input event equal to uh, new input event uh, oh sorry so wait ah uh, mm, need to click the windows dot uh, event and then you're going to uh, include also the windows the input event input event now next is you're going to uh, create here event new input event then you're going to uh, create this thing sorry for the noise background uh, now we declare as bubbles as true so what I mean by this is you're going to create we're going to send uh, the text bubbles after you hit the message now next thing is you need to get the element of this input text so var text box equal to document dot ele get element by class and then you're going to go to the inspect panel that you open just now copy this thing and then you paste it here and then get it the the child now ready for loop so for uh, let i equal to zero i less than counter i plus plus Right now, get the inbox text box HTML. So dot in HTML, and then we try to pass the message that we get from here to here. Okay. Now, after you have put the text box there, you need to uh, hit the send button by getting the uh, event that you have create just now. Text box dot dispatch event event and then get also the button of the send so document dot get class by name then you click now last but not least you need to go to inspect panel again get the button of yours type type a message first and then you can see the button here so get this id that get this class name paste it here then you're ready to go so copy this thing go to your console and then you paste there and then you hit enter and say this is spam message <laughs> try to put 10 then here we go so that's it guys, uh, I hope you like it.
Thanks for watching.